Hey, Nick here. Now you'll learn how to build a customer support tool on top of the MySQL database and a Google Sheet. It'll consist of the users table, user detail card, and a tickets table. Let's take a look at how to build such a tool in a UI bakery. Here, I already have two data sources defined. The first one is a MySQL data source that consists of all the users. And the second one is a Google Sheet data source that contains all the tickets. Let's start building our tool from the users table. To do so, I have to add an action that will load all the users from my application's database. Then, I'm pressing the Run Action button, and all the data is loaded inside the UI Bakery system. Now, let's just set a table on the screen, and a structure is generated automatically. Tweak it a bit, and great. Now it looks amazing. Now I just want to add a detail card here. Since I wanted to show the selected user details, I'm just linking it to the selected row of the users table. Tweaking it. And now I want to make editable the status column to change the status of the selected user directly from this card. To do so, I have to add one more action that will update the selected user by ID in my application's database. I'm going to write inside the database everything from the detail card. Also, after the update, I want to reload the data inside the users table. So, I'm just calling a load users action again. Let's take a look at how does it work now. I'm changing the user status into details card. It changed inside the database and becomes updated inside the users table. Okay, great, it works. Now, let's add the tickets table. I'm going to create a new action that loads tickets from the Tickets Google Sheet. I'll call it Load Tickets. But I don't want to load all the tickets here. I want to load tickets that are connected to the selected user via email. I'm adding a filter here, so we are selecting all the tickets that have the same email as the selected user in our users table. We'll call this action each time we are selecting the user. OK, now let's just add a table, make it a bit bigger, and prettier. Let's take a look at what we did now. Here we have a users table. Also, here we have a detail card that changes the status of the selected user, also shows the detailed information about it. And finally, here we have a tickets table that consists of all the tickets related to the selected user. And that's it. Thank you for watching.